For practice at self-check 4.28 quadratic preconditions, we have a callback to exercise 3.8 where we are asked to write a method named quadratic that solves quadratic equations and prints their roots. We need to recall the quadratic equation and it gives it this here. It gives us the equation, the call, and the output for it. However, what differs from exercise 3.8 is that for some values a, b, and c, the formula does not find any valid roots. Under what conditions would this formula fail? And we need to modify our quadratic method so it will reject invalid values of a, b, or c by throwing a new illegal argument exception. So this is self-check 4.28. If we go back to exercise 3.8 with practice it, uh, link below, we have coded this already. It's already passed all the tests, so this is the correct code that will give us this quadratic equation. However, it doesn't account for some possible user input errors. So what we can do is copy this code, because it's going to be basically the same thing, it's the same method, but this exercise is accounting for user error, where problem exercise 3.8 did not count for user error. So if we submit this, we can see that we have passed four out of eight tests and we did not pass these tests. So we need to fix this. Well, when we look at a quadratic equation, what are the things that could go wrong? Well, the first thing that could go wrong is if all of these values inside of our square root are negative, we can't solve this because that means that we will have a negative under a square root which is an imaginary number and we cannot have this in a quadratic equation. Another thing we cannot have is if a is equal to zero, because if a is equal to zero, we will be dividing by zero, which is impossible. We can't do that. It will result in an error. So we're going to tackle the first part now and we're going to deal with what if we have a negative inside of our square root. If we look at our method and we look inside of our code, this is the math portion of our code right here. And in the math portion of our code, we have this math.square root. So we're going to look inside of these parentheses, which gives us all of this right here. All of this is what is inside of our parentheses, so all of this must be positive, not negative. So we can cut this and paste it before any of this. So we're going to do all of this and then store it into a double and then check if it's a negative or not. If it's a negative, then we know we have to throw in a legal argument expression before we plug it into our square root. So we will have double and we can just call it square root and set it equal to math.pow, b2, all of this stuff, which is the formula for everything inside of here. Now, inside of here where we had this previously, we are just going to replace it with square root and we are going to do the same for this root two right here. We're gonna paste it in just like this. If we wanted to make this code even simpler, we could really just copy both of these and then put them in here so we don't have to call root one and root two, but we'll look at that in a second. So we have this for now, and then we need our if statement to check if this is a negative or not. So we'll have if square root is less than zero, that means it's negative, we will be inside of this if statement, and then we are going to throw a new illegal argument exception. That means that we are automatically going to break out of this method so we don't have to worry about any of this other code executing. We also have another issue and that's if our a is equal to zero. So we can have an or here that way this if statement covers two things and we can say a is equal to zero we are going to quit out of here as well. It's important to know that the new illegal argument exception is a method in itself so we need to have parentheses right after that. Also, I accidentally got rid of one of the parentheses in here, so I have to add that back in. My mistake on that one, and this one up here. Super important to remember that we have to throw a new illegal argument exception and have two parentheses because it is a method. And we have passed all eight tests. If we wanted to make this code smaller, what we could do is take these, and instead of having root one, root two, just take this part and actually paste it down here where we call root one, and paste it down here if we call root two. If we wanted to do more math, like inside of this method, this would obviously not be a great idea because we are not storing these and we should store these 
as good practice. But if we were only using it one time, if it's a small method call, this is totally fine. And if we submit this again, we can see that we have passed the test. So this is just a super clean, easy way to make sure this code works by checking it and also having your output being in one line. So that's the new code for this practice it self-check 4.28 quadratic preconditions.